Paramount Newcastle was also every inch an all-American movie theatre. Vast, lush and magnificent, and its huge vertical fin announcing the theatre's name dominated the exterior in Pilgrim Street. The completion of the Paramount was considered a triumph for the architects and contractors who had worked to schedule to bring the magnificent theatre into being on time. It opened on September the 7th, 1931. The elevation was of brick and stone and its strength and dignity was very effective. A canopy ran the whole length of the theatre front and this was a striking feature. The foyer behind rose a couple of storeys high. Above the canopy, the front of brick and stone was divided by pilasters rising to a cornice, above which was a shallow storey. The box office, in true American fashion, was by the doors to the theatre. On the left side was the entrance hall, and on the right the stall's foyer. Here there used to be hanging light units with nine carat gold plating. The balcony lounge was reached by ascending a double staircase at the extreme right of the foyer. The walls of this lounge used to be decorated with oil paintings from the Paramount Museum and Picture Gallery in America. Every article of furniture of the restrooms, lounges and foyers was specially made to the instructions of Charles M. Fox, the Paramount art designer. The decoration of the auditorium could best be described as being modernized, modern French. It was rich and varied and had also been carried out to designs by Charles M. Fox. The ceiling used to resemble a night sky with gilded designs on a dark ground. And in the center, a modern light fitting of opal glass had a hanging light fitted below it. The walls were divided into panels by variated pilasters which flowered into the glass light fittings. These had amber, blue and red bulbs in them and created a very pleasing light. Above them, graceful figures in metal enhanced the general effect. Artists and draftsmen had worked for two months to complete the polychrome decoration and painted the details direct onto the walls and ceiling. The panels between the pilasters were of silk painted with figures suggesting Watto their colours being rich and blended into the general scheme. The moir silk panels were painted in London and when finished had been fixed onto the auditorium walls. The stage curtains and pelmet had a touch of real quality. In front of the organ louvres was a sequin spangled net drapery. Currents of air made this scintillate and created a pleasing, remarkable effect. Original projection equipment was super simplex projectors with Hall and Connolly arcs. A Brennograph effects machine had played a prominent part in the Tannhauser presentation that had accompanied the opening program of the Paramount feature Monte Carlo.